Okay, it's recording. Um, so, hi. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you. Um, and I just wanted to like start out by asking like, just like how you like identify and what communities you'd say you're part of, like any part of your identities, but especially with like disability and stuff. Um, sure. I mean, usually I just describe myself as disabled queer, mm -hmm. trans, and an East Asian person of color. And all of that is accurate. And that's the language that I typically use. But to be more specific, um, I am a demi-pan-romantic, asexual um, person. I'm non-binary, genderqueer, and agender. Um, I'm autistic, multiply neurodivergent. I'm psych disabled or mad. I use both those mm -hmm. terms. Um, I have cognitive disabilities and like a bunch of random disability illness stuff that like, who knows, question mark, LOL. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a transracial and transnational adoptee, a survivor of transracial and transnational adoption out of China into the US, uh, which is a whole fucking mess of white supremacy and white saviorism. Yeah. Okay, well... Thank you for going more into detail about all of that. Um, and I know that you're in like academic and activist spaces. So I kind of just wanted to ask like how you've experienced a burnout in or like productivity culture in activist spaces, uh, especially you know, like you've written about like how we just have to like so many like people that, you know, just keep going beyond their capacities. And so I was wondering if you could talk more about that and also like how you define burnout for yourself. Um, I understand burnout to be a kind of catch-all term that means more than one thing and people use it differently and don't often clearly define it. Sometimes burnout refers to an individual specific experience of being overwhelmed and at or past capacity. Sometimes it refers to the specific experience of disabled burnout, where a disabled person who's been trying to push themselves to conform to abled capitalist norms and expectations for productivity, labor, or functioning is no longer able to do so, has lost the capacity to do that, and is experiencing degradation in their mental, cognitive, and physical functioning as a result of their attempt to conform to abled capitalist standards for productivity and for functioning. Um, so it's all of those things. Burnout is also the collective experience of working at a pace and in ways that are not sustainable, that are not workable, and that are not humane. Yeah, the collective is kind of what I'm most focused on in my thesis, well, combined with all the other ones, I guess. Um, how have you seen burnout, like, experienced or talked about in activist circles, would you say? Most commonly, it's the juxtaposition between all of us constantly saying, oh, like, we're all burned out and we need to, like, do better at self-care and community care, and everybody says that. Mm-hmm. And nobody does it. Yep. And everybody's burned out all the time. And we all know this, and but we're still living our lives the same way, even though like we all know this is a reality, like we accept it as a reality and I'm like, but we shouldn't yep. like, we not do that like ever, but we always do it, so. Yeah, I saw a TikTok recently that said it took like, it takes like three to five years to recover from burnout apparently, but it I've never- It can take longer than that. I can't even conceptualize like giving yourself enough time to do that you know what I mean and it can take longer than three yeah to five. yeah the person on TikTok was wrong it can take longer 